Alright, welcome everybody to Resident Evil Village. Um, also welcome, I guess, to the first real Let's Play on my channel. Um, I've done some streaming before in the past, but this is the first real Let's Play I'm going to do um, on the YouTubes. Um, I don't really know a ton about this game. Um, I know it's got Ethan from Resident Evil 7. I know it has uh, the attache case from Resident Evil 4. Um, so the sorting system is going to be something that I'll probably cut out, but I love sorting stuff in the attache case. Um, and that there's a big vampire lady who wants to lick my hand or something. Um, but other than that, let's, let's just get into it. Uh, we're going to play on standard because uh, people are watching. Um, if I would have picked that um, difficulty before loading into the game, I definitely would have put casual because I'm a baby. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The Did bushes. Tim Burton direct this game? Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, the weavers, child, what is this? Hollow Knight. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous, she went, hoping a boat she found would carry and her home. And that's definitely the uh, hunger's grip tightened and her heart fish from grew the heavy. Simpsons movie. Then the fish He's just an adult now. and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. And then what? The witch just appeared? Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. But why would because you? Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. Yeah, why would you we read a terror story? Have to deal with to any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. All right, bring it down. You're a just notch. being paranoid. It's not. Never mind. I'm sorry, but I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. Your mother doesn't want to remember him. I can't blame her. Did you say something? <laughs> Nothing. I'll put her down. Ethan over here shaking a baby. This is when I stop moving. He just he does the full twist for some reason. Oh, can I play the piano? No. What is this? Am I watching Happy Tales? 
Only 2000s emo kids will get that reference, but that's okay. Alright, what are we having for dinner? We got pickles. Um, bread. That's a lot of bread for two humans. 400 bottles of wine. We'll drink together, all right? Why do we need a wine cart? We're two people. Two more. Can I turn this off? Ooh, I can look in this drawer. <sighs> Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. So we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Bottles of wine just laying out in the kitchen. Maybe uh, as a family we drink too much, you think? But I guess it has some merit. Oh, it's gonna auto look down at her. I didn't mean to do that. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Almost there, honey. Yo, turtle thing. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Hold on, can I look at my hands? Is his right hand still stapled on, or did he get that surgically put on? February 6th, me and I had another fight. Accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago, and she blew up at me. That was only three years ago? Did Resident Evil 7 come out three years ago? Uh, we finally settled down in our new life uh, in Europe and can bring woes up properly, but uh, I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with woes without that hanging over our head? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded it like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Oh, th this is diary. Oh, what is this? That's just a monkey. It's not paranoia. They're really out to get you. There's a car here. Better go answer the front door. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. Why would you it's go into a de la gum, the local recipe? Wow. The boy tried to just stick his natives, full you? hand into a boiling local pot of soup. Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just. Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, the military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. It was three years. I, just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia, get down. Flip the table, you have military training. Mia. Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. What? Why? How was she still alive? She took like 47 bullets.
Gonna move. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Good boy, Ethan. Down. Rose. Get him off. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'm lucky to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. Specific time. Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? <sighs> Look, she's going to be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Mm, Damn it. Just work. I have to take this. <laughs> I don't know why that picture just gets me. It's just a baby hanging out during a loading screen. Jesus. Talking about where's Chris Redfield and Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not on the walk off. Fuck. What the hell happened here? At least I have a flashlight, I guess. Oh, it's useless, huh? Mission objectives, eliminate target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Hmm. So Mia was a target. Move the two Winterses to the site C for further investigation. At uh, least two transport officers to accompany them. Okay. At least there's nothing scary in this forest to eat me. Will I slowly limp along this path and that patch just disappeared? What was that? I wonder if that's showing up in the recording. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me how to duck again. <laughs> Okay, so Ethan is very clumsy. There's blood and growling. Crap, we're just gonna go through the dust and the blood.
Did I just see Bigfoot? Hmm. So this water's gross. There's a witch here. I thought that was a hat. It's in this drawer. Yeah. Uh. You hold that so freaking gently. Is not scary. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It's fine. That's just a mouse. Nothing's gonna be behind me. Gonna say it can't get me if I back up vampires. Fuck you. Okay, so something blasted through here. Oh, it was the juggernaut. What did all this? But hey, it's daytime. There's no such thing as scary stuff in the daytime. And I can run now. That makes it even less scary. Where the hell am I? Oh, hey, Resident Evil Village. I wish I could slow. Oh, there it is. Village. Looks like Anne Orlando from Dark Souls. I could remember the weird place, could not remember the game. Chestnut? I'm sorry. Nah. Okay. Maybe, maybe they're out. Yeah, maybe they're out. Oh, <laughs> someone's potato stash. Must be in Ireland. There's not even an upstairs. Can I get a knife? Or a toilet? I can't I can't open the bathroom. Ethan can't poop. Oh, if only I had a flashbang. It looks like 
looks like the lock is a separate thing. That okay. That's just weird. I've been in this house. Where am I going? What am I doing? I'm lost. Oh. Obviously, I have to go down the goat head path. What happened? This music sounds like the, the like rallying music at the beginning of Resident Evil 5. Hello. Double hello. That curtain looks menacing. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> friendly, <laughs> friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road, and... What's going on? I... Oh, no. They're coming. Who? Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Harrison Ford? Dead body? Wait, there's more. Well, alright. Um, that's actually going to be it for uh, episode one of Resident Evil Village. Uh, thank you guys for coming out and watching. I love you all, and we'll see you in the next one.